What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams And in today's video, we're gonna do a remake of another WordPress Teams video present on our YouTube channel That I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here Where I do explain how to edit and customize the WordPress footer section using Visual Modo WordPress Teams But in this video, as you can notice, you're gonna find a voice narration First of all, let me share you another footer example present on the PIAC WordPress team that was the one used as example in the other previously made video tutorial with where we can find four columns and we're gonna achieve a layout like this one. And this is the visualmodo.com footer style. As you can notice, you can do a lot of things and apply a lot of options inside the footer using Visual Modo WordPress Teams. The very first thing to do is go to the WordPress dashboard and click on Visual Modo. Inside Visual Modo, we're gonna click on Theme Options. In Theme Options, we're gonna find the footer section right under the header section. Click on it and you're gonna see the very first option. That is brand crowns and bottom to go to the top. We have both enabled, but we can disable so we can see the difference in the live site. You can have one or another or both. I'm gonna set as no, and as you can find, the little arrow that is clickable and will move you to the top, it's disappeared. But if you click on the both, and go to some blog post, for example, you're gonna find the way to the post, the home page, the front page of the site, the blog post category, and the post where you are viewing, that you are viewing. This is the brown cramps. You can disable or enable if you want in the footer section. The second option, it's the option that you can have your full widget footer section. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to apply this layout. But it's really useful and some big brands like Dribbl, for example, use layouts like this one. I'm gonna go back to the normal footer section. Now you can find the columns layout. As you can see, actually, we, got, we are using the three columns layout but you can have a unique column with an offset, for example, like we have in our hair WordPress team demonstrative website. Right here, we have the center with widgets and spaces to the left and to the right. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be like the PIAC WordPress team demonstrative site, so we're gonna be doing with four columns. Now, as you can notice, there's an empty space in the fourth column, and you need to populate it with widgets. To apply widgets, we're gonna move to WordPress dashboard appearance widgets, and we're gonna be looking at the first footer, second footer, third footer, and fourth footer. As you can notice, the first footer has the image, the text, and the contact widget, as we can find in the live preview of the site. But in the far footer, we have nothing, and you need to apply something to populate this space. I'm gonna be using the Projects widget present on WooCommerce plugin, so we can display something about our shop, some products from our shop. Let's check the result. It's looking better, but the menu, it's without title, and does not look like the other design. Now, we have three titles and all aligned and looking fine. Actually, we're gonna be looking at the copyright content, the text in the end of the site, powered by Visual Modo WordPress Teams. You can change this if you want. You just need to go on WordPress, Dashboard, Visual Modo, Theme Options, Footer, and we're gonna find the copyright text. 
you just need to click on it and type your text. For example, powered by your brand. And even on your brand, you can select the text and using the native WordPress editor, you can apply a link to this text that can links to your brand, to your site. Save change. And we are good to go. Now you can look at these little social icons I present on the footer. How to edit that? We go back to WordPress dashboard appearance widgets and you can find a tab called copyright footer. This is where you're gonna find the widget that did add these little icons the visual model social icons and you can apply the icon by adding content in the icon field in the social network field please make sure that you have the entire social media URL so you can proper be redirected after after the click so just post the HTTP and the entire link Now we have more social icons, but you can apply another widget on the section in the case that you want. If you click on the YouTube, you're going to be redirected to the amazing visualmodel.com YouTube channel. Now, finally, we're going to change the colors from our footer. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to apply images on the footer. But for colors, you can find that it's pretty easy. You're gonna on the theme options, click on colors and in the subitin footer, and you can change the presets layouts or create your own. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with all those features and much more. And I see you later. All the best!